Welcome to Truth of the Spirit. I'm your host, Patty Bruner. This is day 36 of Daily Meditations for Lent. The following personal revelations were given during the fifth week of Lent for you to discern, and words given to St. Faustina about divine mercy as well to help you grow in closeness to the Lord through truth, repentance, and the Word of God moving into fullness within your heart. The Lord said, when you listen to my voice, your heart opens to receive the Holy Spirit. This grace nourished you like protein and vitamins, but instead of just physical strength, you have been empowered spiritually. This fifth week of Lent, as we offer our sacrifices during Lent that lead to repentance and preparation for the great feast of Easter, Remember that Easter Sunday will last eight days, and the eighth day is Divine Mercy Sunday. Divine Mercy Sunday may be the greatest day of the year because of the immeasurable amount of grace Jesus promised to pour forth on this day. Today, we want to share something Jesus shared with St. Faustina in the private revelation accepted publicly by the church, Jesus made a specific promise to St. Faustina about Divine Mercy Sunday. On that day, the soul that will go to confession and receive Holy Communion shall obtain complete forgiveness of sins and punishment. That's in her diary, number 699. Jesus reiterated these conditions and promise of complete pardon at least two other times in the, her diary, number 311.09. The oceans of grace available to us on Divine Mercy Sunday can make us anew by giving us a fresh start again. We simply have to make a good confession, such as on the Saturday before, and stay in a state of grace up to receiving Holy Communion on Divine Mercy Sunday or the Vigil Mass. Jesus requested we also do works of mercy, rather deed, word, or prayer. When Jesus was pierced on the cross by the lance, blood and water flowed from his side. The water of baptism, the blood of the Eucharist. In his resurrected body, Jesus appeared to Faustina. He asked her, to have this image of him painted to remind people of his divine mercy. The image contains red and white translucent rays flowing from the area of his heart. Jesus told her the two rays denote blood and water. These two rays issued from the very depths of my tender mercy When my agonized heart was opened by a lance on the cross, these rays shield souls from the wrath of my Father. I desire, Jesus said, I desire that the first Sunday after Easter be the Feast of Mercy. And whoever approaches the fount of life on this day will be granted complete remission of sins and punishment. Mankind will not have peace until it turns with trust to my mercy. The Lord said to Faustina, I desire that the Feast of Mercy be solemnly celebrated on the first Sunday after Easter. The soul that will go to confession and receive Holy Communion in a state of grace on this day shall obtain complete forgiveness of sins and mercy. My mercy is greater than your sins and those of the entire world. Jesus shared with Sister Faustina, and his words are written in her diaries that are connected to reciting the chaplet of the Divine Mercy. Truth of the Spirit is sharing excerpts taken from the diary of St. Faustina Kowalska, entitled Divine Mercy in My Soul. Jesus gave us these promises. The souls that say this chaplet will be embraced by my mercy during their lifetime and especially at the hour of their death. When they say this chaplet in the presence of the dying, 
I will stand between my father and the dying person, not as a just judge, but as a merciful savior. Whoever will recite it will receive great mercy at the hour of death. Priests who recommend it to sinners as their last hope of salvation, even if there were a sinner most hardened, if he were to recite this chapel only once, he would receive grace from my infinite mercy. I desire to grant unimaginable graces to those who trust in my mercy. The prayer most pleasing to me is prayer for the conversion of sinners. No, my daughter, that this prayer is always heard and answered. Jesus said, at three o'clock, implore my mercy, especially for sinners. And if only for a brief moment, immerse yourself in my passion, particularly in my abandonment at the moment of agony. I will refuse nothing to the soul that makes a request of me in virtue of my passion. Jesus said, souls who spread the honor of my mercy at the hour of death, I will not be a judge from them, but the merciful Savior. Jesus said, through this chaplet, you will obtain everything if what you ask for is compatible with my will. During Lent, the Lord said to tell you, ask for deep spiritual awakening. Ask for to be aware each moment of the day of the love and mercy of your God. Ask for the fulfillment of the promises, not just the promises connected to the devotion to my sacred heart and divine mercy, the Lord said, but the promises of the new covenant. The Lord said, I have placed my covenant before the people and it lies dormant. The people hold back their hearts and wills from me. They are afraid to step out in faith. The Lord continued, ask the Holy Spirit to give you boldness. Let there be a stepping out for the people, all the people of the world to receive healing today. All that is necessary is for my people to step out in faith in the promise of my covenant to heal the sick, lay hands on them, and they will recover. All that is necessary for the world to turn to me is for my people to step out in faith, to complete my command, go forth among the nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Lord told me to teach this about divine mercy. He said, my mercy is available to them. They are like a man adrift upon a raft in the ocean of divine mercy. Until you dip your cup into it and partake, you will not be refreshed. But to get the fullness of mercy, you must abandon your raft and enter into that which will save you from all distress. The Lord told me, Seek the grace and the joy of this day, for this is the day the Lord has made. The great I am is giving our generation a day like none have received before. It is uniquely designed for us and for this moment in history. Open your heart to his fullness. The most Holy Spirit descends upon you with gifts of untold wealth and power. Seek the face of Jesus in all that you do, say, and see. The Lord said, Know that the Lord God I am is with you to the ends of the earth and beyond. Call upon the name of Jesus and your prayers will be heard. Come forth for blessings. The blessings are yours for the asking. Then go beyond the desire for blessing. To the depth of his mercy. How do we find God's divine mercy? The Lord put it to me simply when he said, love is the key to my mercy. Love for others in need opens the flow of mercy to those in need for whom you pray. He said, there is also a mercy that flows to the sinner 
who repents out of love for the Lord God. The depths of darkness are whisked away when repentance because of love is given. The Lord continued to explain it to me. Fear of consequences also brings repentance and allows the heart to be open to my grace. But it is the love that allows the heart to be washed completely clean in my mercy. You've been listening to Truth of the Spirit for Wednesday of the fifth week of Lent. This Lent, the Lord has more to tell us about His divine mercy. Listen to Him. Remember, with the Lord there is mercy and fullness of redemption. Easter's coming. Prepare for it. Ready your heart. The transcript of this episode is available at patriarchministries.com slash 306. Come back tomorrow for more with the Holy Spirit. There's always more. Amen. This is the Padua Podcast Network. Padua Podcast Network.com.